Well, lads, you already know the drill here. It is UEFA Europa League quarter-final predictions here. And as I said, my UEFA Champions League predictions, I find these ties more interesting than those in the Champions League. They're more intense, I think. And, you know, I think there's going to be more closer ties in this one. <clears throat> so, um, let's see then. Let's start. Let's just jump into it then, shall we? Starting off then with West Ham United versus Leon. It's a pretty big match. West Ham getting by Sevilla in the last round. Leon, who did they get by again? I think I'll... I forget who they got by, but yeah, they did a good job anyway. West Ham, by the way, in extra time, knocking out Sevilla, the team who loves this competition the most. Fair play to them, and they'll be looking to stride on to the semi-finals. And I tell you what, Leon are definitely a beatable side. They're not the brightest side in the world at the moment. Currently mid-table in League 1, but they still do have a couple of absolute gems. Carl Toko Wakambi, I believe he got the winning goal to send Cameroon into the World Cup. Um, Lucas Paqueta, I'm a massive fan of him. I think I've said that a few times on the channel before. He's probably one of the most underrated midfielders in the world. Same with Hossam Alwar. I always say he should go to Arsenal, as you all know by now. So yeah, they do have definitely a few good players in there. But let's see how this tie is going to go. First legs at the London Stadium. I do think home advantage will be there for West Ham United. And they'll get a 2-0 win. I can definitely see Yarmolenko scoring again. He got um, he got West Ham through to the uh, quarterfinals. I can definitely see him scoring again here. I can also definitely see maybe Jared Bowen also uh, capping, capping the uh, display off at the first leg. Then the second leg. I'm going to say it's going to be another pretty tight game. But at some point halfway through the second half. I think Lucas Picata is going to strike uh, home one goal. Leon are going to be 1-0 up. And that's how it's going to finish. Leon may win at home. But West Ham will be going through 2-1 in the aggregate. It's definitely going to be tight. And I tell you what. Leon will probably be the better side in the second leg. But overall I think West Ham will just about have enough to make it through to the quarterfinals. And then the next game is Eintracht Frankfurt versus FC Barcelona. FC Barcelona at the moment are incredible under Xavi. I mean, beating Real Madrid 4 0 at the Bernabeu, a team who've just knocked out Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar's PSG from the Champions League. That is so Xavi's done some work at Barcelona. You know, I thought he'd flop at first. Well, he's had an, an instant impact, and he's definitely improved Barcelona here. Now, I'll be definitely uh, fancying this game, but Eintracht Frankfurt did beat one of the most informed teams in Spain, in Spain sorry, uh, Real Batiste. So, yeah, they're not going to be an easy side. And, of course, Jasper Lindstrom, not many of you would have heard of him. But um, if you see the picture of him, well, he sort of looks like Thomas Muller. And we all know Thomas Muller has a good history against Barcelona. So, that could be a big downfall for Barca. But, anyway, the first leg will be in Germany. I'm going to say I'll finish 3-2 to Barcelona. It's definitely going to be goals in that game. I think it'll be 2-1 Frankfurt at time. Lindstrom, I think, is going to be amazing both legs. I think he's going to score a brace in this game, you know. Maybe get one goal and get one assist is more reasonable. So, yeah, I do think he'll um, definitely be good, especially in this first leg. Then the second leg, I'm going to say, Aubameyang getting the equaliser. And then uh, and then eventually, um, Madama Traore, out of all people, scoring the winner in Germany. is going to make it a 3-2 win for Barcelona. Then coming back to the new camp. I think Barcelona may rotate it a wee bit, but not a lot though, because there's there is certainly not three yet. I'm going to say it finishes 1 1 there. Aubameyang scoring again, and well, that's uh, uh, Filip Kostic, one of the uh, great wing backs in the world right now, the Serbian uh, Filip Kostic. I'm going to say he'll score an equaliser, but Barcelona goes through to the semi finals. 4-3 on aggregate. Frankfurt is definitely going to have a big fight. But overall, I just, see, I just do think that Barcelona will have more quality. And they'll just have a wee bit more to go through. And that's going to leave West Ham without Barcelona in the semi-finals. Which will be definitely very interesting too. And now the next game is RB Leipzig versus Atalanta. This is probably the most interesting and tight one out of the four here. Because Leipzig are currently a good team under Domenico Tedesco. Um, who has taken over Jesse Marsh. And well, we already know Atlanta are a good team. Of course, in my match day vlog, I, when they came to Manchester, they were pretty good, but they did, did kind of bottle it though. And well, they've got they've already gotten past them. Um, who they've got past? Olympiacos and uh, Leverkusen. Two good teams there that they've gotten through. And now I tell you what, they can definitely do against Leipzig. Right, Atlanta's got one of the best um, away records, I believe, in Europe. So I'm going to say they're going to use that to their advantage. It's going to finish 3-1 in Germany. A major shock. Leipzig will be expected to win it, but they'll be shocked and blown out of the water by Atlanta. I think the goals for Atlanta will be Ruslan Malinovsky, the Ukrainian, Luis Muriel, the Colombian, and Duvan Zapata, also a Colombian. They're all going to score the goals there, but then the second leg in Bergamo. Atlanta's going to try and hold it out, but they're going to be crushed. Leipzig pull off an amazing Europa League comeback. One to go in the history books too. A 3-0 win away from home as Atlanta don't have a great home record. I'm going to say it'll be a Christopher Nkunku hat-trick. What a player he's been this season. I tell you what, I think he's going to bang in three in Bergamo and he's going to send Atlanta out of the Europa League. 
they'll definitely bottle it again but they'll definitely not be bad in the second leg they'll definitely be good it'll just be a wee bit bad at the back and that lady for Nkunku to absolutely de- uh, put their defence on toast so yeah I do believe Leipzig will just about scrape through to the semi-finals with Christopher and Nkunku getting all three goals and Webb Bergamo to, um, to seal the deal and send Atlanta out of Europe for this season and finally we're ending off at Braga versus Rangers this is definitely one of the more interesting ties of them of course Rangers are, look- are looking to return to the European final I believe the uh, last time they were in a European final uh, was called the UEFA Cup it was in the mid noughties I'm pretty sure they did lose it too so yeah Braga is definitely a big team that they can definitely beat because uh, of course I believe a few years back Rangers played Braga in the Europa League and well Rangers absolutely stuffed them here I think it's going to be the same story here and um, first legs in Portugal so Braga could put up a bit of a fight but I think um, players like Alfredo Morelos, Ryan Kent and Giannis Hadji are really going to turn up and it's going to be a 4-1 thumping in Portugal and the second leg at a, at a, um, a rampant Ibrox feeling the um, feeling that there's no pressure in Rangers and feeling like they can go through to the semi-finals um, I'm going to say then Rangers will definitely rotate the squad around Braga will take an early lead but it's going to be a 3-1 win for Rangers I think Ama Diallo and Aaron Ramsey are both going to be in the score sheet in that game so it's going to finish 7-2 in aggregate Rangers are going to absolutely stuff um, they're going to absolutely stuff Braga and well they've already beaten Dortmund and Red Star in the Europa League if they made Braga too that, then that will leave them with Leipzig and the Sammies probably will lose that one though but that, that have definitely had an amazing uh, European run and fair play to Rangers even though in spite of, I have to say that because I am a Celtic man myself so yeah that leaves the semi-finals to be Barcelona versus West Ham and Leipzig versus Rangers I don't know about you lot but I'd definitely be excited for both of them legs and both them ties should I say not well and as with everybody I hope you enjoyed uh, remember to like share and subscribe and turn notifications thank you all for supporting the channel once again I really, really appreciate it and I'll see you all in my very next